Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel the IIT. So in the current video, we will be seeing how we can actually use Android 11's scope storage method access documents for uploading. So I encountered this issue recently. I had a file upload application which used, which used file up mechanism. So let's go to the build.cradle. So what I did earlier, uh, let's go to the manifest file. What I did earlier was I had used that legacy storage so if I use request legacy external storage and preserve external legacy storage so what that will do is it will grant you access in Android 10 and in phones that have upgraded from Android 10 to Android 11 so that will work as well but the issue would be in the phones which have Android 11 and which installed your application just like that. This I saw many videos they were how to create files, how to save files, but none of them showed how to actually use the file picker in Android 11 to actually use the scope storage and storage access framework, upload documents to my backend server or actually like open documents or whatever, any kind of stuff with the documents. Uh, with the images it is quite okay I guess but I will show you with images also so in this, this video we will cover basically all the things about storage access framework that you need to know videos, images and document files documents are in PDF anything so first we need this permission and the permission should see I can declare manage external storage permission and it will work just fine so if I declare manage external storage everything will work as Android 10 and I don't need to do anything new let us show like let us go to Google and manage external storage Play store so this will basically cause an issue so uh, all file access cannot be uploaded to Google until then basically what happens is when you use all file access this is basically manage external storage so that will cause an issue with when if you are uploading your app to google if you are just doing it for fun and your hobby project it's fine use this go ahead use this and in the main activity just uh, request like what do you call it? just request an all file access from the intent basically so you can start like an intent then and then, then okay just check if it is a uh, like new intent and an intent put uh, set flags or put extra to anything you can actually uh, okay do you want me to okay I might give as well that code too just give me a second yeah so what we will do is we can actually like write this code we can declare permission storage as so uh, just this is what this is the code part that you, uh, you can ignore this part so I can import settings in class and URI class and get activities basically nothing get package name this is what will open the action manage app all file access require activity get application text and this will what we will, this will do is basically prompt the user to uh, whenever I click so let's design some UI for a file application let's just have a button in the center and let's constrain it for now so it happened and let's add uh, an id button, which is button and let's create a button so button 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 find my id r dot id button okay now button dot set on click listener new on click listener this will basically add a click listener to these are standard stuff now what I will do is I will verify storage permissions. 
and I don't actually require this activity. Same. Okay. Let's try running this application for once, and let's see what happens. Uh, okay, mind you, this is just the starting of the video. I'm going to explain a better method than just giving all file access because you cannot use this for Play Store. This is we are just doing for now. So that if you are doing it as a hobby project, you can you can actually skip the video to a front in the timeline so that you can get directly the important stuff. I will just run it once it won't take much of a time. Yeah, so launch succeeded, launching activity. Yeah, so when I click button, see deeper. Uh, it should say something like permission granted or something. Oh, yeah, so see, it granted this all file access. So now I can grant this. So it will like basically grant it to manage all the files that I have. So we won't do this because if we do that, the Play Store won't accept it. So just comment this. We don't need verify storage. Instead, what we will do is we need to actually select a document to upload, right? So we this intent, intent equals new intent. Now intent what? Uh, extra actually. Uh, just give me a second. Yeah. So what we will do is basically we will write this piece of code. Intent, intent equals intent dot action open document that will basically uh, like give the instruction that we are trying to open a document we will set the type to application slash pdf you can set, set the mime type to anything category openable is basically we can actually open the document extra local only is basically it won't select from, from drive and other cloud stuff you can actually this if you matter and then these two are important flags because they are usable in Android 11 and they are very important. So basically, this gives set the reading permission to the document and this gives us a persistable permission from document. Basically, the document is available in a format and URI format and you can actually read it till the device restarts. So you can make use of this URI and read the document whenever you want. And next we will start activity for result intent load. Let's create a constant field. Yeah. So now we just need to write an on activity result method. On activity result. So what is it? If Okay, there is some error. Just check what the error is. Yeah, it's result. So if result code is equal result underscore okay. Basically the result is okay. And if request code is equal to equal for load. And then if data is not equal to so what we can write is we equal get data now I will show you that if I create a file so file 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 from basically I'm wasting my resources and it is not basically I am wasting my resources here and if I will check that file dot can read so file dot can read or can write it will be false because it doesn't allow me to actually create a new file and add the original document file. The only link to the original file that I have is 
so whatever i need to do if i do it directly using uri then it won't be an op then it won't be an issue so suppose i need i haven't installed cloudinary in this uh, what do you call in this project but suppose you have installed cloudinary so instead of passing the actual file path what you can do is media manager dot get dot up yeah it will give an error correct i haven't dot up and dot call back call back and then dot dispatch so or it will be call back and all that functions in there and here you can pass like dot option check right check so this will actually work and it won't give an ES ess file exception and you will go now apart from this let us look at just a brief moment of time or all uh else let's just look at for how to do for videos and images so so what we will do for images is let's just comment this all for now and so basically this will do is request permissions is add so yeah so basically uh, let's just remove this so state a constant i will leave this in a github repo for you to access so what this does is basically this will create first it will check if we have the read external storage option so we don't need this instead what you need is this permission read external storage uh we can also use users permission right external storage it is it will get deprecated soon though but yeah after adding these two permissions i first check if it is granted by the package manager otherwise i request permissions new string right external storage right permission uh let's just start read external storage to here and if it is granted we intent i equals There is the error coming. Let's just comment it for now. Best code is equal to. Put it as image star, and here we are using actually the media store which we have to use from Android eleven. External content to and allow allowing multiple and now what we. Uh, then the the dot it, uh, this is just for one file, so I will show you for multiple files. Just a second. Okay, so this is basically the code for now. So if data dot clip data is not equal to none, so basically if there are multiple images, then I just iterate over the count of the images. I take the uri of the selected image and then i use the media store to parse the image and get its path so now this returns us correct path of the string correct path of the image and i can use it to basically upload it with media manager dot get dot upload and here i can pass the path instead of the uri so basically I, now pretty much i can do anything with this path also if i have like a what do you call a an image view i can just set that image view dot set image to this path and it will work i can even set that to uri and it will and if this is for one so i guess that is all for now i will leave it in the comments uh, like you can if you have any doubts you can leave them in the comment section and i will this repo in my github for you to access and i will the link Actually, let's just do it. Oh, I don't.
Yes. Scope storage. Here we chill up. Need to define a remote. It's just go. Just create a uh, and underscore two. Android when op storage and storage at work Android 11 scope storage and because usually I just forget to push the code so now everything is done and I will leave this URL in the description box hope you like the video please do like share and subscribe and if you have other doubts thank you for watching this video